Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be talking on the KAP, the study done on the knowledge, attitude, and practice of parents and caretakers of children with Down syndrome. Down syndrome, as we all know, is the most common genetic cause of mild to moderate intellectual disability. It is associated with physical and intellectual handicap with multi-system involvement in many cases. The knowledge and attitude of the people in a society have a significant impact on the social functioning of the individual in addition to a knowledgeable and understanding family to help persons with trisomy 21 attain their full potential. This study was conducted to analyze the personal and social impact in persons with Down syndrome and their families with special reference to knowledge, attitude, belief, and practice in the care of these children. The question is where do we stand and we try to get an answer to this. Children or persons with trisomy 21 are managed by the healthcare facility in most cases. There's no doubt about it in most of the countries except in remote places. But in spite of that, the parents and the caretakers are totally ignored. The siblings are also not given much importance in the overall management of the child and family. The healthcare worker concentrates on the person, the patient, the person with Down syndrome, and tries to treat or manage that condition, totally ignoring the persons responsible for the upbringing of the child and the person. My personal experience in the last 21 years with more than 1,000 persons with trisomy 21 and from the feedback from the support groups indicate that the family and social aspects are not being properly addressed. Hence, we have a sample survey of uh, N is equal to 63, basically those who came uh, for a meeting to look into the knowledge, attitude, and practice of caretakers of children with trisomy 21. The attributes surveyed were on the attitude, medical knowledge, educational aspects, social, as well as job related. 28 questions were asked under these various headings. A few of them, the uh, answers, I'll be putting it here, and the final conclusion. Of the people who came here, 38 were mothers. There were fathers, 18, grandparents two, one aunt, and uh, four of them did not give an answer. So half of them were mothers and the other half were others. Now let's look into the attitude. Attitude of the self, the person who was uh, writing the uh, report, um, they're proud and happy in about 80%. They, they show that 42% are proud and 38% are happy. But one third, I should say, were dejected. But otherwise, the majority, we should say, were proud and happy. Now, what is the attitude of the spouse to the child? They're supportive and helpful in the majority, with only a few dejected or indifferent. And the attitude of other children, they were very loving and helpful and supportive. If you take that, it's about 80% of them had a very supportive and loving na nature. And well, maybe 15% of them did not give an answer because probably uh, they were not aware of the status of that because they could have been grandparents or anybody else who has come. The medical knowledge, uh, Down syndrome is a chromosomal condition but 85% know that, probably because they are regular uh, attendees of Down syndrome meetings, and they are to some extent aware of what's happening. But some of them believe it could be an uh, infectious disease, 
or a perinatal problem, but the majority knew that it was a chromosomal condition. Why is it known as Down syndrome? Well, a third of them said it was after Dr. Down, which is correct, but there were others who believed that it makes you feel let down. One sixth of them believe it's because of that, and always down with infections, and all of the above, and the 17%. But the majority had the correct knowledge. Did the doctor inform you at birth? This is very disheartening because half of them, 46% were not informed only and 46% were informed. Now the problem with this is if they are not informed at birth, the early intervention programs are all delayed. Many of them got to know it, uh, realized that they had a child with Down syndrome only when they had a subsequent infection or at the age of one when they realized the child was not walking. And this is a major problem. And maybe it's because the uh, uh, doctors didn't want to confront them, or maybe they want to confirm the diagnosis of the karyotype and then tell them. But whatever it is, this is a major problem. Have you immunized your child? Yes, 90% of them are immunized, but a small person did not immunize. Now coming to the educational aspects. Can children with Down syndrome learn? Yes. 90% believed, yes. Can they be trained? 98% believe that they can be trained as a very good aspect. Only, and the other one was one person who did not give an answer. So the majority, almost all of them believed that they can be trained. The therapy is available. Here there is some confusion because uh, all of the above, the physical therapy, the occupational therapy, the speech therapy, only half of them really knew that all these three had to be given. Uh, people thought that the speech therapy was the most important aspect, 23.8% and overall 82.5%. The physical therapy and occupational therapy were down. And as I mentioned, half of them knew that all three, three therapies had to be given. Should they be sent to school? Yes, 95% say yes. Now, which school to be sent? Here, there's an issue. Many of them, half of them believe that they should be sent to a special school. That is where, again, a major problem is that is there, which we have to handle. And one third of them believe it, uh, they have to be sent to a normal school. Social aspects, the greatest social issue which they said was the issue with an inclusive education. 63% felt that uh, they had problem getting an inclusive education that is overall altogether. An inclusive society and an inclusive healthcare. So overall, all of them had some problem with the education and the societal aspects and the healthcare aspects. So that is something which again needs attention. How does a society look at your child? Majority said they were over sympathetic. The mothers were not interested in sympathy, but this is what they give. 61% were over sympathetic. Staring looks for the public in 25%. Over inquisitiveness, 36%. And even harsh comments in a small person, the one twelfth of them. Can a person with trisomy 21 marry? Yes, a quarter of them said yes, and say 17% said no. And the majority were not aware of to say yes or no. They were not sure. Would you get your child with trisomy 21 married if an alliance came? Yes. One third, one third of them said yes, not sure, almost another number, and no in another 19%. Job related, can they have an independent job? 77% said yes, but unfortunately 19 said no. Would you send your child for a job? 73% said yes, 
If we get a job, we will send. But no, again, 20%. Now, the limitations of the studies, the questionnaire was answered by people who came for a meeting of parents. Most of them were regular attendees. So they had some sort of an awareness about Down syndrome and what has to be, what is to be done for that. But in spite of that, you have seen that many of the answers were poor in that uh, school entry and the therapies that had to be given. The indifferent and dejected parents probably get kept away from the meeting. So the results may not reflect the true nature in the community. So the people who came were regular uh, attendees and those who were not dejected, they never came for any of those things. So this is a sample survey with the attitude among people who used to come to uh, meetings, the meetings of Down syndrome. So let us look at the conclusions. Majority, two thirds were happy and proud of their child, while one third were dejected. A large majority of spouses were supportive, and only 5% were dejected. Majority of the siblings were very loving and helpful, and only 5% were indifferent or dejected. What we see is the spouses and the siblings were very accommodative, they're very nice very supportive, but the mother who is always with the child naturally could have been dejected at some point of time at uh, being with the child all throughout. The term down is misleading. Only 36% knew the correct reason for the nomenclature. 85% knew that it was a chromosomal condition. Only 46% were informed about the condition at birth. This is a major deficiency in the system, which has to be addressed to why it is not being done and what can be done to correct it so that early diagnosis can lead out to early intervention and better results. Recurrent respiratory infection and fever were the major morbidities. I'm not sure the chart for that. And people were not aware of the life expectancy. Many people believed not from these statistics, uh, that 20 to 30 years is what they all live. But those were things of the past. Even there were doctors who say that 20 to 30 percent is a life expectancy. But why now we know it's much more, it's more than double. Only 90 percent were immunized. They knew that the children can learn and can be trained. That's a positive attitude. That's a very good thing which has happened over the years. And majority knew the therapies are available, con but confused as to therapy. Therapy that is being given. Many believe that it's only speech, but then all of them have to be given. That again is something which we got to uh, inform them and update them. Know that children should be sent to school, but half of them believe in sending to a special school. This again is uh, really uh, sad because uh, we have been talking of sending them to a normal school for years now, but still then they believe that they cannot thrive in a normal school. Inclusive education is the greatest social evil in the sense that they don't get inclusive education, chance for an inclusive education. We are kept out for various reasons, either because the schools believe that if such a child comes in, then their results would go down and they don't have the time to attend to these uh, children. The attitude of the society is also a major concern. And a quarter of believed that children of the trisomy 21 can be married and 20% would do so if possible. About 20% believed that they cannot have an independent job and would not send them for a job. Now, this is gradually changing over the last two years uh, because the more and more people are being on the job, they are being trained and they are doing their job. And the only hindrance was the COVID-19 in the last one and a half years that has hindered them. Only 35% of people above 18 are doing some sort of a job. Others grown up above 18 are either sitting at home, 
doing nothing or in front of the TV. So this is again something which we got to address. So thank you very much and, and uh, wish you all the very best. Thank you.